ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch for you. Today we're going to take a quick look at the new AV8 release, the Crows release. And the model number is AV8 from the Hawker Hurricane series, as you can see here. And this is the AV84097. Just got a glimpse of the case back. We'll take a closer look at that in a second. It's um, a Flieger style watch, a pilot style watch, as you can see, with a very interesting dial. It kind of like clouds imprinted in the dial, which is very nice. Um, comes with a decent set of specs, pricing around $345 US dollars with my discount code, which is WA20 or Watch Addict. You can save 20 to 25%. So I definitely recommend using that code, and I believe they are almost sold out. Now, the watch is 50 meters water resistant. We have a large onion style crown, very reminiscent of the uh, big pilot from IWC, as you can see here. Wouldn't call it a direct, you know, homage or anything like that. But as you can see, the dial is pretty nicely done. We have a 12 hour uh, markings over here towards the center in an orange color. Then we have your markers, which are raised. And you can see at the bottom at 12, it does say, uh, let's get a little closer, in omnibus princeps. Okay. So, and yeah, the watch is um, a larger size. So um, that's something to think about when purchasing this watch. I know a lot of people do like larger size watches. You know, not everybody can fit into a 40 millimeter watch if you have a larger wrist. The watch itself is housed in a solid 316L stainless steel case. It's brushed on the sides and the finishing is actually pretty good. You get a signed crown as well with some polishing and the tops of the lugs are pretty much brushed. That smooth bezel is highly polished though, going all the way around the watch, as you can see there, which gives it a little bit of, um, Visual excitement, I would say, adds a little um, kick to the watch. Um, but yeah, the watch itself is 45 millimeters in terms of diameter. Um, in terms of lug to lug distance, top to bottom, you're looking at 55 millimeters. And in terms of case thickness, you're looking at 13 millimeters top to bottom, including the sapphire crystal with anti reflective coating. So it definitely is a bit of a larger watch. You get 22 millimeter lugs as well to match that 45 millimeter case size. Um, but yeah, it's a very nice looking watch. I think they did a great job execu executing the dial. The hands and all the numerals match very nicely. I like the orange accents, especially that loomed airplane on the counterbalance. I think that's pretty cool. And they are using their different movement now, which they've started using across the board with some of the brands, is the NH55 movement. Uh, it's a smaller movement, has a smaller rotor than the NH35. Uh, you get self-winding with this movement which is actually much smoother, than the, much smoother than the NH35. It beats at 3 hertz. You get one position, we get a quick set date, which is actually very clicky. You can hear the actual visual clicks when you change the date on this movement, which I do like. Then you get your final position to change the time, and there is no hacking on this movement, so keep that in mind. Yeah, but it functions very good. Power reserve is pretty good at about 40 hours, and is pretty true uh, to spec. I had very good grip on this crown, I must say. There is very good grip on this crown. It's very large, very easy to grip at all angles. And, yeah, it comes in this nice kind of blue style, you know, Flieger style bend with the white end stitching, as you can see here. You get two safety keepers, a custom AV8 buckle. Flipping over to the case back, always a nice design. Uh, some basic specs, and then you get a nice image over here, as you can see. Hawker Hurricane with the wings. Uh, water resistant 50 meters. Screwed down case back, of course. Now this watch is completely filled with loom, and the loom's really good on this watch. I was quite surprised by that. I want to get you guys a loom check, because I think the loom is really good. I think it's one of their best loomed watches, in my honest opinion. I've been reviewing AV8 watches for about five or six years now, and I think this one has one of the strongest looms I've seen, or the most loom applied. I really want to show you guys that, so let's take a quick look at that. And as I was stating, the loom is very evenly applied. It uh, glows green on the hands. Even the airplane is lit, <laughs> which is pretty cool. So at night, you can see that airplane kind of rotating around the counterbalance of the sweeping seconds hand. Uh, the numerals in the triangle, the reference triangle at 12, is very nicely lit as well. Watch is extremely legible. And as you can see there, the loom does last pretty long. Um, I think they did a very good job on the loom on this watch. Now, the watch itself comes in a few different color variations if you don't like this blue variation. Obviously, the blue is my favorite. Uh, Blue-styled Fliegers are really nice, in my honest opinion there. Um, they just, I don't know, it just hits me better than a black Flieger. The blue really kind of shines with those nice kind of clouds imprinted into the dial, which I've never seen before on a watch, which I think, think is something new and interesting that they're doing. So definitely kudos to them for that. Now my wrist is 6.5, 6.75 inches in the summer when it swells, and this is a 45 millimeter watch. <clears throat> so let's see how it actually fits on my wrist. I'm not 100% sure, 
Well, I do know, but <laughs> let's uh, take a look, guys. Definitely a very large appearance on the wrist. It's, I would say it's not that large in diameter, but just a little too long for my wrist lug to lug. Um, it, yeah, the band is definitely comfortable out of the box, definitely fits the watch. You know, the whole theme of the watch, very nice, kind of that IWC style. Um, very legible watch, though, at all different angles, as you can see there. A uh, nice proportioned buckle. I think if I had about a 7-inch wrist, I think this would fit me perfectly, just at 7 inches. Um, but yeah, um, I think my, my, my wrist, honestly, is not that big. It's pretty small, so, um, you know, that's just my wrist. So, um, but yeah, overall, guys, I think they made a pretty decent watch here. It's something different with the dial here. Great loom, sapphire crystal, you're getting a Seiko automatic caliber. Uh, one of their newer calibers that they're using. Not a new, newly invented caliber, but a caliber that's not widely used. So it's something different, you know. I think using different movements and such um, kind of, you know, brings out something new in a watch. Uh, at least in my honest opinion there. But let me know what you guys think of this watch down in the comment section below. Unfortunately, just a little too big for my small wrist. Um, but it's a very nicely made watch, you know, very nicely finished, very nicely brushed. It's not overly heavy or anything like that. Um, no sharp edges or anything like that. So no quality control issues on my end here. Pretty decent band. Uh, probably would look pretty good on a NATO band as well. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below as usual. This is Watch Addiction Watch Reviews with a quick look at the AV8 Crows Edition. And these are selling out pretty quick, so definitely jump on their website if you want to grab one of these before they sell out. Um, because I believe they are limited. Yeah, but definitely smash that subscribe button, hit the like button as well. Leave me a comment down in the comment section below, and we will chat more down there. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.